Step 5. Creating Slabs In this step, we will add floor slabs to the project and modify them with the help of the PET palette. Guidelines will also be presented, helping you to create temporary lines and circles that remain on the screen until the current editing operation is finished. You do not need to create unnecessary elements to be able to edit or modify the design. Activate the first preset view located in the Creating Slabs folder of the Navigator view map. Switch to the Slab tool, and in the Favorites palette, activate the Slab 1 favorite by double-clicking its name in the list. Hold down the Space key to activate the magic wand, and while keeping it pressed, click near Label 1 to create a slab based on the geometry defined by exterior walls. This will create a slab by finding an enclosed area defined by the exterior walls. With the slab tool still active, hover your cursor near Label 1, press the Shift key, and click to select the slab you just placed. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Click on the edge of the slab contour polygon near the point of Label 1.1. A small palette, called the Pet Palette, appears near the cursor. Its purpose is to provide most of the polygon editing and element modification commands at your fingertips. With its help, you can insert new nodes into polygons, delete edges, curve edges, and offset edges, add to or subtract from the contour polygon, plus drag, rotate, mirror, elevate, and multiply the element. Select the offset edge icon on the pet palette to perpendicularly move or offset any edge of the contour polygon. Click on the wall corner pointed to by label 1.2. The edge of the slab polygon is now offset to align with the right surfaces of the two horizontal walls on the screen. Press the escape key twice. The first click will deselect the selected slab. The second click will return to the arrow tool from the slab tool. Make sure that the Suspend Groups toggle in the standard toolbar is switched on. Switch it on if it's off. Hold down the Control or Command key and move the mouse anywhere over the wall near Label 1.1 until the scissors cursor shape appears. Click to trim the portion of the wall situated between two other walls. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Select the wall at Label 1 and select the Delete menu item from the Context menu to delete it. Select the slab at Label 2 and click its edge near the point of the label. Select the Offset Edge Pet Palette command. Offset it upward one foot by moving your mouse upward, then typing 1 and pressing Enter. Select the walls near Label 3 and Label 4 by clicking them while holding down the Shift key. Select the Edit, Reshape, Adjust menu item. Click the horizontal edge of the slab near Label 1. The length of the reference lines of the walls will be adjusted to extend only to the horizontal edge of the slab. The wall body's shape will change accordingly. Activate the next preset view from the view map. Activate the slab tool and space click near label 1, close to the exterior walls, to create another slab using the magic wand. This slab 1 favorite is still in effect, so we don't need to set that. Activate the next preset view from the navigator view map. Activate the arrow tool from the toolbox. Shift-click the wall at Label 1 to select it. And select the Edit Delete menu item to delete it. Select the slab near Label 2 and click its horizontal edge near Label 2. Select the Offset Edge Pet Palette command. 
Offset a downward one foot by moving your mouse downward, then typing one and pressing enter. Select the walls near label 3 and label 4. Select the Edit, Reshape, Adjust menu item. Click the horizontal edge of the slab near label 1 to adjust the length of the walls to that edge. Activate the next preset view from the view map. Select the wall at label 1 and select the Edit, Delete menu item to delete it. Select the slab near label 2 and click its horizontal edge near label 2. Select the Offset Edge Pet Palette command. Offset it upward one foot by moving your mouse upward, then typing 1 and pressing Enter. Select the wall near label 3. Select the Edit, Reshape, Adjust menu item. Move your cursor to the point of label 4 until the cursor changes signaling that you've found a node of an element. Press the Alt-Y key combination on Windows or the Option Y key combination on Macintosh. This key combination creates a horizontal guideline and it locks the Y coordinates so that you can move your cursor only along a horizontal line. Click the horizontal guideline just created to specify the edge to which you will align the wall. The wall is extended to the intersection point of its reference line and the guideline. With the wall still selected, select the Edit Reshape Split menu item. We'll use this command to split the element into two pieces. Click in the horizontal edge of the slab near label 1 to define the splitting edge. An eye cursor shape appears, which needs you to specify which side of the element should remain selected after the split. Click below the splitting slab edge so that the lower wall segment remains selected. With the lower wall still selected, Apply the wall for Favorite to it by activating the Wall tool and double-clicking the Favorite's name in the Favorite's palette. Click Escape to deselect the wall. Select the wall near Label 5. Select the Edit, Reshape, Adjust menu item. Click the horizontal edge of the slab near Label 1 to adjust the length of the walls to that edge. Activate the next preset view from the view map. With the arrow tool active, click to the left of label 1.1 to select the slab. Offset the vertical slab edge near label 1.1 to the left by first clicking on the edge, then by clicking on the wall corner pointed to by label 1.2. Press the escape key once to deselect the slab then hold down the control or command key and move the mouse over the wall near label 1.1 until the scissors cursor shape appears. Click to trim. The portion of the wall between the two other walls intersecting it will be removed from the project. Activate the copy pasting slabs preset view from the navigator view map. Activate the slab tool and select edit. Select all slabs to select the slabs you created. Select Edit, Copy to copy the slabs to the clipboard or hit Ctrl plus C or Command plus C for the same result. Select View, Navigate, Stories, Go Up a Story to go to the second floor or activate the second floor entry in the project map. Select Edit, Paste, or press Ctrl plus V or Command plus V to paste the slabs from the clipboard. The elements appear in the floor plan with the marquee around them. At this point, you could move them or rotate them. 
For our purposes, their position is correct. Click outside the marquee area once to accept the position and to complete the paste operation. Go up one story to the third floor and paste the slabs again. Activate the next preset view from the view map. In the Favorites palette, activate the Slab 2 Favorite by double-clicking its name in the list. Space-click on the fill edge near Label 1 to trace the polygon and create a new slab. Activate the next preset view. Space-click on the fill edge near Label 2 again to trace the polygon and create a new slab. We now have slabs above all our stories. Activate the last preset view from the navigator to see how the design development looks in the 3D window. This completes Chapter 2.